Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Claw by Claw. This is Tracy here speaking. So, we're now on to a new site we, uh, we haven't covered yet. Uh, this is Japan Claw Machine. Uh, it looks kind of similar to uh, Claw Machine Master we saw uh, in a previous episode. But this one, it, it's a little, yeah, it's different and such. Uh, it has the same concepts to it. Uh, you got a bunch of prizes here. Um, different, you got different uh, things going on in this. So, chips, uh, figures, accessories, and such. Yeah, they, it, it's a lot more elaborate than I, I would expect. But the interesting, and if you catch this, is that, see in the middle part here, the food? This is from Costco. Um, that's very interesting. Uh, Costco does have a bunch of uh, stores in Japan. Uh, I wish they could have done a little bit more in the United States. Uh, if they if you could do if you could do claw machines uh, with it. So if they do it in Japan, why not in the United States? I wish the United States can do a little bit more on that front, so they can make a little bit more money on that front, so they can bring in a whole different audience to buy their membership and then all that stuff. But I think it's kind of cool that Costco. So you all know it's gonna be in a pa a huge package, so or in bulk, so. Uh, I wish they, I wish the United States one can do a little bit more on that one, and this could be a good one if, if a uh, call machine vendor would want to do a deal. Again, the tricky part is the food aspect of it. Uh, it does carry over, and then you need to ki you need to ship that immediately to it. So it's it's a little bit tricky on that front. So I, I just find it interesting that Costco is kind of a, uh, have a lot of. A, deals in this uh site so it's interesting yeah just looking over there's a lot of variety of prizes here uh uh and that's why i really like is the variety of prizes i don't think it's elaborate than call ma uh call machine master but i i i still like it i still like the diversity and the variety of it uh and to me of course the king the the top jewel of the uh of the call machines Online call machines don't have that type of aspect. They have figures and plushies, which w mostly everyone likes. But it's like it's so enormous. But I prefer a little variety to it, so I really like this. So, uh, so we're in the Ernie Gary uh, pouch setup. This is kind of interesting. This is the uh, wrecking ball. So basically, uh, you remember those coin purses like you do in the pyramid in those uh, arcade games? Basically, that's the same setup. Is that you use this wrecking ball of some sort and try to push it uh, to the to, to that power to the ground so I think and you only have a few seconds to do it so that's a, a very interesting game to do it so uh, yeah I want to do this again so here we go here's the side view can you push it see it's pushing in so it's trying to get the the pouch to the ground like the problem is the pouch is above so you need to get down it either through the through the shoot and such, so this is yeah, this is a bit tricky because you these are these are not big because the pole is holding uh, the bar is holding up the top part of it can knock it down. So this would be very interesting. I, I kind of like this concept. It's on the edge. I just don't know it's close or not because can it go through that that little sliver on top right there. So yeah, it's just knocking through. So. Yeah, let's go to the front view here. All right, so there. So there's a third arrow, and then it's moving, and yeah, just bumping through. Okay, so in this angle, yeah, you just go through, and yeah, in the back side, it'll go down to it, so it would count, so. Yeah, this is, this is actually a cool concept. So yeah, you just have to aim of one of the arrows here. Uh, well, they had more pouches, just letting you know that front. So in this one, you just have to uh, just target it, and then... I, and then it will move forward immediately. So, so I stop, and then here's the movement right there. Ooh, that's a good kick. So we're getting. All right, so here we go. Line up. Let's see. It will go to the left. Yes, left side pushing that through. How close are we? The camera angle has to be a little more quick than that. Just to let you know, but. Anyway, so yeah, so they're playing close. It's, clo it's getting close on that front, so now it's a little bit further away. It doesn't have much of an impact. So here we go. Ooh, two taps. 
on that one. So if it's such, if there is such a thing on that one. All right, so it's it's definitely near. I think yeah, if they aim for on the left side, I think they can they can bump to it and they might get it. But we'll see. See the front end. All right, so here we go. And oh, okay. I think oh, there's some push. That was a little push on that one. Yeah, I think that one that was in the middle. I think that was not the best aim. I mean. They, they, I mean, it's hard to aim on this one because of the moving ball, but I think if you just aim on the left, I think you might have a shot here. All right, here we go. Here's the move. Oh, there we go. There's the bump. And this one, you have to time this. Right? You have to move it, and then... Ugh. Okay, here we go. And... Okay, so... It's getting, yeah, the, the right side, let me switch here on the front. Yeah, oh, you see the right side of the pouch is going to the edge. So if they go for the left, I think they, you might see a, a few more plays on this one. We're likely going to see a win on this one. But, uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, it did! Oh, knocked it down, and the person won the only Gary pouch. Congratulations to that person. Back to the Takayaki ping pong dropper. This is for the toaster, and see here. And as I mentioned, there's no barrier, so this is gonna bounce around a lot. Let's see how this goes. Oh, not a lot on this one. Yeah, this is not over the yellow square. So look at look at that. Nothing. That's just doom. I mean, yeah, but no barrier. Yeah, this might take a long time to win this. Alright, here we go again. Alright, fill it up. Any, will any of them stick? Nope. None of them did. Alright, here we go again. Oh man. All right, almost filled this up. Oh, more balls. Fill that up. Oh, it went in. How oh, did it went in? Did, uh, did it just caught immediately? Wow, they won. Ah, there you go. Congrats to that person who ran the toaster. I, I missed that part. I was focusing on the, that they got more balls, but apparently it dropped in. I have to say, I have to see the replay on this one. Apart from the review, this is came from the avalanche that they dropped in, and the ball came in. And then came from the claw. Huh? Impressive win. I'll give them credit for that. All right. So we're in this uh, dojo strategy prize, and basically you just look at the box and try to slide it down to it. Uh, this one has an angle, so you just need m much more lift so it can slide down easily. And there's a QR code, so, hey kids, if you want to do the QR code of what the uh, the strategy dojo does, there's the QR code, so take advantage of it. Alright, so here we go. Try and aim to the claw. Alright. Oh, that one pushed. Ooh. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one you probably need a lot more lift. A lot more lift so the box can slide, and then it'll drop, and then hopefully it slides further. So. It's, it's getting close. We'll, look, we'll probably look around several inches here till it drops. To, to the edge, excuse me. Alright, here we go. That one moved a little bit. Let's see the side view. 
Oh, okay, so this little hook. Wow, they have so many QR codes on this box. They really want to pay attention to this one. So basically, yeah, so we're getting close to this one. So it's on the on the plastic coverings on the edge. So it's getting close. So all right, so they're going to the left. So they're going to the alternate method here. Pushes up. I'm not sure it moved back a little bit. That's kind of weird. But I do think they want to shift the box uh, back to the left. So I think they aim for the left side. So, And of course, on online claw machines, there is a delay. So you got to account for the delay on this one. All right, so going back to the right side. I think it just froze on me. Oh, no, it missed. I thought it froze. Wow, that... Uh. Huh. I think the person was trying to push it back, I think, but didn't go all the way deep back. So, let's see here. Yeah, I thought the, the, that person took a long time with that one, but I guess they were trying to push the box in the back so it can push more, further to it. Eh, nope. I think they're trying to be clever on that one, but no. No, not that one. Yeah, I would just lift it a little, a couple more, and then you can try to do a couple things to there. Okay, they're going to the back end. Okay, so they have momentum in the back. Let's see how it pushes. Oh, there is a the big push right there. So that's a good move. All right, I think, yeah, you're looking at a couple more plays on this one, and the strategy dojo... I have no idea what it is, so <laughs> someone in the comments meant to tell me what it is exactly, because I don't know. I can check on the QR code, but I'm, I'm probably not, I'm not qualified since I'm not in Japan. All right, here we go again. Oh, that's a good push. Yeah, we're looking good now. So this is looking good. So uh, they are pushing ahead. So I think we, we were looking at uh, two or three more plays on this one. I'll give the max three. All right, here we go. Going to the back. And uh, this one's a little bit deep there. That's, that's barely a good touch. Oh, it actually has significant. Oh, I thought it, over, it overran it, but uh, actually good, a decent pushing out of that one. So, All right, so here we go again. Yeah, this one, I think they're locked in. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Yeah, -hoo -hoo, we're getting close. Okay. This, this needs to be a big push here to get my count to three so that was the second try as after I announced it so this is the third try here all right this looks good oh I that poked the box okay so the third attempt wasn't in my benefit but uh, yeah I think the person just missed aimed at one so yeah so if you had the uh, three and over you win again so I thought the person did a good job. So I, but it's definitely gonna be in the next couple, next few plays. The person is gonna win this, either this person or the next person who's reserving the the station here. All right, so here we go. All right, further back. All right, this looks good. Oh, that, oh, that one pushed just lightly. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. All right, so now we we'll, now the person needs to pinpoint this good because. You can't, yeah, so you saw that. So the person might need to be close to it. You have to look at the edge. I think this might, this looks good. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay, it did, did, ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's in. Oh, wow, that's, oh, that was so close. And congratulations to that person winning the strategy dojo, whatever that is. So, yeah, if you saw the video, you can take the QR code of that one. So that's that. Um, so there's a wide variety. So uh, Japan Claw Machine is a lot similar to Claw Machine Master as you saw in the previous episode to it. Um, and there's a lot more. And I wish, and I wish the Japan Claw, Ma Claw Machine can do much better on the scrolling part of it so you can see a lot more of the prizes instead of like trying to see it and then scrolling down. Yeah, so there's a lot more items to it than you see. So you basically have to scroll all the way down. So I wish they can do a much better job on scrolling on this one. But uh, as for the variety of prizes, I think if you need, if you there's something you prefer, I mean, 
this is a pretty good site to go to. Um, it's more specific toward Japan, but uh, it's pretty useful. And I especially like the deal they have with Costco. I wish, as I mentioned, the United States should do that if you want to expand to a, uh, to a more younger demographic. But again, that's saving it for another day. So it's a pretty good site. If you come join, just go uh, to your app store and go look to Japan Car Machine or JCM in this case. So that'll be it. And just a reminder, this weekend I'm taping this. Um, it will be Mother's Day weekend. So happy Mother's Day to everyone, especially my mother. And uh, yeah, by the way, it's the Apollo chocolate. That's a good gift for your uh, Mother's Day gift. So if you're in Japan, get that. And if you're in the United States, you have to wait three months because of shipping issues. So there you go. But anyway, all right, so that'll be it. I will see you all in the next time. Bye.